Ah, hello, a very good evening to you, Dinky Doo. It's me, Scotty McClure, and we are, of course, live on Facebook Live. It's Sunday night. Nothing gets past me. That can mean only one thing. Scotty McClure is live on Facebook Live just for you, Dinky Doo, only for one fabulous, fantastic hour. I shall have the privilege of your company, and you shall no doubt have the privilege of mine. Dinky Doo, I say, and welcome to our live last show before Christmas, but hopefully we'll pop up and have a chat. We might even have a Christmas message or something like that. Now, tonight, we have lots and lots and lots to talk about. You can get in touch with me through Facebook right there and then. A lot of you are doing it now. Paul Anthony's watching. Christopher Anthony Smith's watching. Fantastic. Richard Frediari is watching. One of our finest news people in this country, a wonderful news editor. And uh, Jim Clark watching. Michael McGuigan's watching. Frank McElroy, a very good evening, sir. Another great night ahead. Absolutely, Frank. Thank you, thank you, thank you to every single one of you, of course, who has shared yesterday's promotional video just to let you know about tonight at 10 o'clock sharp. Scotty McClue, live on Facebook Live. Uh, evening, Scotty, says Jen Perrett. Gav is watching. Dinky do, gals. Paul Anthony, your tie is top. Well, it's the old Jungle Book. I thought, why not? Mowgli and Shere Khan and Ka and all the old favourites. Baloo, of course, Baghera. Well, hello, sir, says James. Hello to you, James Dinky Doo. Evening, Scotty, says Dave Hemsley, who's in Yorkshire now. He's not in Lancashire. Uh, Laurie LD Dev is watching from Stornoway. Stornoway, uh, away up in the Outer Hebrides. Well, the Inner Hebrides, Stornoway is, isn't it? Inner Hebrides. Nice tie, Scotty, says Andy McClory. Thank you, Andy. Very much appreciated. Merry Christmas to you and your dearest when it comes, Scotty, says Kevin Malcolm McGregor. Evening, sir. How are you this fine night, says Angie Thompson. Dinky do, Angie. Nice to have you with us. Gav Rolly Jones says, Dinky do, Dinky do, to Scotty McClure, I say. Now, lots and lots of things you'll find that I sang twice. 12 Days of Christmas, quite beautifully, of course, on uh, yesterday's video. And uh, I had, of course, the halfwits coming on. Oh, you can't be showing that sort of stuff. Well, we'll see what they sound like. Uh, I did work at opera for many years. Uh, wrong again, Scotty, says Dave Hemsley. He's not in Yorkshire. Right, okay. Good evening, Scotty, says Ross O'Rourke. It's just me. You're sounding a bit Norman Collier, says George Mullen. No, I'm sounding... Scotty McClue, perhaps Norman Collier, um, sounded a little bit like me. Hi, Scotty, uh, says James Steele. Fantastic. David Steele says that. Hey, sir, says Chloe. Dinky do, Chloe. Good evening, Scotty. I'm off to my kip soon. I've not been well, says Brian Gillen. Well, I bumped into the doctor the other day. I wasn't bumped into him. I met him in the shopping centre. And he said, I haven't seen you for a while, Scotty. I said, well, I'll not be keeping too well. Um, so there we are. Dinky do. Andy Murray, one sports personality, third time. Then, absolutely, of course, the man's a genius. What's your thoughts on Bradford, Scotty? I like Bradford. I like a good part of the world, Bradford. A lot of buses around Bradford. That's the only thing. And Keithley, Keithley, of course. And um, Dave says, Kennock in Staffordshire. That's right. That's you've got me now, Dave. Kennock in Staffordshire. Staffordshire is a beautiful county. I know it well. Mark John Conway says, What age are you now, Scotty? I am, of course, um, upwards of 30 now. Uh, some reception tonight, Scotty. Very busy compared to other weeks. Not really, George. Very, very busy all the time on this program. You could actually be on full-time 24-7 and be busy on Facebook Live. It just shows you the power of Facebook Live. It shows you the power of this Top, top, top social media platform. Tremendous. So there we are. Evening, Scotty, says Jim McIntyre. Hi, Scotty. I'm glad you're here. Enjoy your chat, sir, says Jim Stephen Gibb. Very nice to hear from you. I believe you are a bagpiper. Now, if you're a bagpiper, how well do you know Glen Calla Castle? I'm not talking about the castle itself. It's gone. But Glen Calla Castle, dee da dum da 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 lee, dee da dee da da dum dee da dee, dee da dee da 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 dee dee dee, dee da 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 dee 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 dee. There you go. There's one for you. Elliot Seth Faber is on. Gives a wee dab. Good for you, sir. Oh, 
<laughs> Elliot, fantastic stuff. Hiya, says Laura Sardinard. Hello, dinky doo to you, Laura. Now, all you marvellous people are sharing and sharing and sharing this Facebook Live. Thank you for that. It is very, very much appreciated. I do apologise, but I make no apology if you get my meaning for all the sharing during the week. Random sharing. Share, 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 share. Tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 about Scott Clear Live on Facebook Live on Sunday nights. Dinky do just for you. If you're calling in from uh, outside the United Kingdom, of course, do let us know where you're calling from. If you're India, Africa, Canada, America, Madagascar, Tasmania, the Arctic, the Antarctic, Russia, China, Japan, Australia, New Zealand, you let us know. North and South Poles, of course. And then we must not forget, are we ready? After two, one, two, the Tierra del Fuego. What a place that is. Hi, Al, says Laura. Good evening, Scotty. How are you doing? Are you free to come out uh, to volunteer for the homeless before Christmas? Already doing that, Justin. Always helping the homeless, always helping out. Scotty McClue is the man, says Gavin McCoy. Gavin from Oxford, a very fine part of the world. I tell you, I'm very often down there uh, visiting people at Blenheim. Um, Dave Steele from Paisley, Scotty. Excellent, Dave. We like that. Alana just won The Apprentice. Absolute nightmare, says Elliot Seth Faber. Elliot, you're fired. Um, Karen McKenzie's watching. Did you do? Karen, lovely to hear from you. Douglas William Bryce is watching. Welcome, 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 all I say. Start going on to Facebook and telling everybody about this wonderful program because what we're hoping to do is build and build and build a massive audience. I was taking Skype calls up until a week or two ago, but with a couple of wee swearers on who ruined it for thousands. And uh, I thought, no, no, we don't want this. But if you're feeling flush and feeling generous in a generous mood and you want to stick a quid or a five or a ten or a fifty quid or fifty grand into scotty mcclue's paypal account you'll get it at wwwscotty mcclue.com don't worry about it though this is a free service of course you know that mcclue has always accepted applause or derision on his merits right shared but the new facebook have got to copy link leave your feed and paste it onto my wall as I keep missing bits, says Angie. George Mullen has just shared it. Thank you. So has many others. Has anyone else got a problem with the live feed, says Laura Surgeoner. Has anybody got a problem with the live feed? Do let me know, because I could be sitting here talking to 7 billion people, or I could be talking to myself. It wouldn't be the first time. I have done it before. Uh, Dean Barr's watching. Karen McKenzie is putting up a little thumbs up yeah she's got it it's back with her so there we are a conversation started as 50 comments so far we like that keith carlion is watching and karen and seven others have just shared again we're having a share point in about uh, seven minutes time anyway mine's jumping a bit says ross Arook. the whole joint is jumping tonight ross with scotty mcclue the last show before christmas Everybody wants to get in there. No problems here at all, Scotty, says Dan McWilliams. Dinky do, Scotty, says Dean Barr. And uh, your audio is breaking up now and again, says Laurie LD Dev. But he is in Stornoway. And it's marvellous, really, that, uh, that he's getting us up there. Dinky do, Scotty. I uh, took my headphones out of the socket, plugged them back in. You're not too bad, the new says George Mullen. Sometimes that can help George. Maybe you've got a dirty pot, as they say, a potentiometer or a jack plug. Scotty, what was Neil Armstrong's first words when he landed on the moon? People think it was one small step for man, one giant step for mankind. It wasn't. It was good luck, Mr. McPherson, because, no, I think he took a look at the moon and probably thought, no way. Could a cow jump over that? Uh, now then, what's your favourite Christmas song, Scotty? I have so many. Last week we were talking about Nina and Frederick and Little Donkey. Did anybody look it up? Scotty, when do I get my free bus pass? I'm in Canada, says Den. 
I think you can get them in the United Kingdom at 60. I don't know so much about... I've never had a free bus pass in Canada, to be honest with you. That's a little joy that I have denied myself up until now. Paul Goffy Goff and eight others have just shared the video. Paul Goffy Goff, what a wonderful man. Paul Goffy Goff is one of the finest British broadcasters ever. You get him on Radio T's now on a Saturday. And it was a massive, massive breakfast present to the northeast down about Newcastle and that sort of thing. And, and uh, you know, where's the place where they the hang the monkey? That would be Hartlepool round about there. And you'll get Paul there, Paul Goffy Goff. But what a fine man. What a, what a cracking man. I was once in a pub in Newcastle. And a guy looks over at us and he says, are you looking at us? I says, how many grammatical errors can you make in one sentence? So there we are. What are we discussing tonight, says Suraj? Well, we've got a lot to discuss tonight. The discussion question tonight is um, this chap that was wanting us to swear allegiance to, to Britain. Now, what these people do not seem to understand, there is no such country as Britain. It's an amalgam of four countries, Scotland, England, Northern Ireland, and Wales, which is a principality, but I think the principality part of it, I'm not sure if it's still extant. We need to talk to um, a Welshman about that. So if you're, if you're listening, um, that sounds a little bit jaunty, actually. I have to work on my Welsh. Uh, so there you are, and I think. If you're listening, then... Um, I'll work on that. Don't worry. Top man, Scotty, says Paul Goffingoff. Absolutely. He's also a wonderful agent. So there you are. Andy Grant's watching. Dinky do, Andy Grant, I say. Anyway, so the chat was talking about swearing allegiance. Now, I think that if he's looking for true values for quality, take a leaf out of Scotland's book. Because in Scotland, you will find that there are all races, creeds, colours, backgrounds, all comers. Fantastic. Multicultural, right? One people, many, many cultures. That's Scotland, and it works a treat. So if you're wanting to learn how to behave as a country, make Scotland your role model. And that's coming from Scotty McClure, who's a creative and cultural ambassador for the Western world. How can a woman with a million pound hat tell people in this time of austerity, we all have to tighten our belts? So there we are. Well, no, we have to tidy our belts. Listen, never worry about people with money because the poor will always be with us. It's relative. And that's what it is. Now, uh, should fatties who take up two seats on the buses be double fares, says Andy Higgy Hig? I think so. If you take up two seats, you should be paying twice. Evening, says Mark E. Jones. Come on, Scotty, get on to Glasgow City Council going to Cairns. Twelve of them when they're cutting back on everything. Well, no, I mean, these are this is small beer, I would say. And if you have to go away to get a wee bit of uh, sunshine and get some business done, fair enough. And uh, I would imagine they're going on business anyway. So there you are. Um, come on, Scotty. Right. Oh, no. A yes poster, says Sandy Howden. Sandy, you will get about 72% of Scots are yes posters, I would imagine, if you scratch just beneath the surface. So there we are. Uh, your lot just got wiped out because you didn't back independence for Scotland. Silly, silly thing to do. And then bye-bye. Uh, swear nothing to Great Britain, says Jen Britt. So there you are. I, my oath of allegiance would be to God and Her Majesty the Queen. That would be my oath of allegiance. And just a wee tip for all the nationalists watching, of course, of which there are many, many million of you. What I would say is leave the monarchy alone, because if you start to mess with the crown, then it weakens the case for independence. So there you go. So just leave it. The crown will always... Um, have to be on top because that's how this country runs and remember we wouldn't have a Scottish Parliament if it wasn't for the Crown so there you go the First Minister has to swear an oath of allegiance to Her Majesty the Queen Scotty let's talk about Aleppo disgusting treatment no oil involved or anything like that 
Um, I don't think they should pay two times, spelt wrongly, T-O instead of T-W-O. The poor get by, Scotty says Steve Burrows. Steve, the poor will always get by because they are resourceful. So there they are. They are not feckless. Waj and nine others have shared the video. What's the time? Let me check the time. La la's. I have to see. I have to appear. There we are. We're exactly on time. Quarter past ten. Twenty-two fifteen. <coughs> Quick cough. Nothing to do with um, you. It's because I had a chest infection last week, if you recall. But tonight we're having a cup of tea. Lovely cup of tea with foxes on it. Beautiful, beautiful piece of crafted. Dunoon Pottery. Mm. Oh, that's absolutely gorgeous. Scotty, are you still driving the old 1965 Austin Westminster? Says George Mullen. George, it wasn't the Austin Westminster. It was the Vandenpla 4-liter R with the Rolls-Royce engine. So there you are. You pick them up for pennies. But the Westminster was a beauty as well. She was uh, and the Woolsey. Woolsey 610 was another favourite of mine in two-tone green. Happening, Scotty, says Shiraz, Syed. Everything happening, Shiraz, right here on Facebook Live with me, Scotty McClue. Dinky do, just for you. Ronnie McKenzie says, see, instead of folks going on about the price of Theresa May's trousers, can we talk about how they looked? Um, uh, she's seen better at a well known store. <laughs> Scotland, warm and friendly. We can relate to anyone from anywhere in the world, says Frank McElroy. Well, Frank, we're all from anywhere in the world. We all actually originated in the African Rift Valley and came via Ireland. Then you had the Vikings in Scotland. You had the the um, Scoti, the old tribe, Scoti, the McClues. I just had some coffee, says Wedge. Don't worry about it, Wedge. It, uh, you know, that's your private life. Money can't buy you friends, but if you have money, you can rent them, says Gavin McCoy. Yes, I mean, people will always join you and say, oh, buy us some beer, love, can you? I swear allegiance to Iron Brew and Square Sausage and Betty's Pie Shop in Parkheed, says Ian Walker. Well, that's a very good thing to swear allegiance to. Uh, the poor will get by. On the other hand, Glasgow Council, give them all self-junkets. Listen, people have to go and do business. So it might not be junkets. Stop the politics of envy. It really doesn't matter. It's adding to the economy. We, Jimmy Cranky, um, very quiet, says Keith Carline. Yes, we haven't heard from Jerry. Some in the pantomime. Last year, marvellous, marvellous stuff. The cranky is wonderful act. Um, so what else have we got? People with money will never be lonely. Not true, actually, to be quite honest with you. Uh, if you notice, if people who stay on their own or spend a bit of time on their own, people think they're lonely. Not necessarily the case. I've seen people with family sitting in their house, surrounded by family and friends, and I thought, that soul is lonely. I could see it and I actually confronted him later with it. I said, you were lonely in the house. And he went, oh, yeah, not, nobody spots that, Scotty. I said, oh, well, I spotted it. Uh, George, they'll get their comeuppance um, in May, says Jen Pirrett. There we are. And uh, cycle lanes in Leith Street are like airport runways, says Sandy Howden. Sandy, have you ever been on an airport run? Have you ever been on an airport runway? Have you ever been there when they've said... Um, you know, Flight 400, could you go to 03 and wait, please? Nothing like Leith Street, Sandy. You don't have talk it, chum. Right, I've run out of lavy roll. Can you help me? Says Den O'Donnell. No, sorry, Den. It depends. Uh, I don't want to, I'm just trying to think how to put this delicately. It depends if you've actually been yet. Uh, the problem with that, with running out with the loo roll, to be quite honest with you. Bit of a problem. Um, so there we are. No Skype calls, Scotty says, Wadge. No, Wadge, I haven't got the Skype switched on because of the wee swearer. I know it's a shame that thousands and thousands and thousands should lose out and suffer because of one wee guy that can't control his dirty, filthy, mucky gob. But, no Skype calls at the moment. But, if anybody wants to donate... A few pennies to PayPal, scotty-mcclue.com on the Scotty McClue website. Then uh, we might try and save up for a profanity device. Then we could take as many calls as we like. And um, we're skint, Scotty, but we get by and we're happy, says Steve Burrows. Steve, 
I think everyone's got this austerity stuff was to raid everybody's, rifle everyone's till so that they could get the money back for the banks. It was shocking austerity indeed. Um, I think I know a Glasgow guy who knows the answer. At what age do you start wearing a bonnet? Well, I started wearing a bonnet at 12. And, um, you know, what time is it now? It's only, it's, it's only about uh, 20 past 10. Did we all share? Did we have a share point? Let's have a share point. Share, 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 share. Right? In the presence of a good friend of yours last night, Scotty, says Keith Carlion, Sir George White. Oh, Sir George of Clare Meiston. Now, there's a gentleman. If you want to see a model of a gentleman, George White of Clermiston is your man. He's a big, uh, he's a big Jambo fan. This is his story and this is his song. Follow the hearts and never go wrong. I think he may have sung in his time, I would imagine. I'm not putting words in his mouth. I just think he may have sung that. But So George White, we send you love and blessings and every strength to you. You are a miraculous man and you are a miracle man. Gregor G is watching in America. Dinky do, Gregor G. Thank you for complimenting me on my 12 days of Christmas, the song in last night's video. Austerity, always money for wars, though, says Sandy Holland. Yes, I would have thought they'd learned the lesson. I mean, the only people who ever benefit from a war are the arms dealers, and that's only financially, because this country really got it in the neck in the First World War. They didn't realize that it would completely bring down the class system, that it would finish all the big estates, that it would transfer the power from the countryside to the town and into the hands of the merchants in this country, out of the hands of the so-called ruling class who'd been knights since the 1200s serving the crown. Scotty, you're saving the NHS a fortune, getting us laughing. We Nicola loves you. Three mentions tonight for me. Go on, make it four, says Den O'Donnell. Kiss, 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 four mentions. You've got one in the pipe, one in the tap. I think you want to be a Tory, Scotty. The GDC are a law to themselves, says George Mullen. I used to be uh, a very staunch unionist and uh, had a lot of empathy um, with, uh, with, well, with the two main political parties. But I'll be absolutely honest with you, uh, you know, they really have, they're way, way, way behind the, uh, the Scottish parties at the moment. Lynn Crawford shared the video. Thank you, Lynn. Very much appreciated. Merry Christmas, Scotty, says Michael Yule. Well, you're the one with the uh, seasonal name, Michael. Fantastic. Yule. The old Yule Tide Festival. That may well be where your name originates. Different spelling. You spell it uh, Y-U-I-L-L. -L, and Yule Tide was uh, Y-U-L-E. But that was the old winter festival. I don't wish to cheer everybody up, but there used to be a saying, a green yule makes a fat courtyard. Now, what that meant, of course, is fairly self-explanatory. But if it was green at yuletide, if there were leaves still on the trees, it meant the temperature hadn't dropped enough in those days to kill off all the illnesses and the viruses and what have you. And people, unfortunately, had uh, a mortality challenge and um that uh, fattened up the courtyard so i do it's a fat courtyard that's cheered us all up scotty who's your favorite rapper oh i love the m m's yes the rapper the big yellow bag i swear allegiance to ronald donald mcintyre and robbie shepherd lord of the bothy ballads says ian walker ah robbie shepherd a fine fine fella i first worked with him at New Year on Grampian Television in 1984 at Castle Fraser. What about that? Robbie's now, I believe, 85. And um, there was some word of him retiring from Radio Scotland. Um, if he has actually retired then, if anybody from Radio Scotland's watching, and we know you are, um, then think about old McClue. Uh, stepping into the breach once more onto the breach. River City rules over the two big English soaps. George, do you think River City has got the edge on Emmerdale and Coronation Street? Mm. Mm. Let me think about that. Uh, who's dealing arms now, Scotty? The guy who gifted the land 
to oh my goodness me ha 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 says Shiraz. thank you bless you go for five says dan o'donnell being serious now how can we ignore the weans in syria don't buy tinsel and crap send them a pound well there we are the only thing is it might end up in the wrong hands what's your christmas plan says gaz rolly jones well we think we might do a scotty mcleod christmas message watch this space much preferred you speaking to someone on the phone says james anderson yes of course james but we can't have the phone because of a wee swearer keith carlion says legend thank you i am or maybe it's legend I am indeed a legend in my own lunchtime. Bring back Take the High Road, says Angie Thompson. Angie, Take the High Road is back. You can see it on STV Glasgow. Are you in the STV Glasgow area? And I believe you can see um, Take the High Road. It certainly was on. I haven't watched it for a while. Fancy a pizza, Scotty. I went into the Pizza Hut the other night. Not advertising. A Pizza Hut. We have a hut in the garden that does pizza. And um, they said to me, um, how can we help you? I said, have a guess. And um, they said, do you want to cut into four or six? I said, just four. I couldn't, couldn't eat six. Scotty McClure's Bothy Salads, Radio Huntley. I felt like I'll get myself up there and uh, I'll do Bothy Ballads for you. Oh, a grand night out at the kill. There we are, because we're a male. Scotty, what did you clam up for? Says Dean Halliday. I haven't clammed up, Dean. So there we are. What about your new job, says George Mullen? I cannot, of course, divulge any of that until probably uh, after Christmas and into the new year. But watch this space. My favourite rapper is when I finish my Forford Brady and chuck it in the bin, says Frank Knuckle. <laughs> oh, I'm just going out walking side to buy a fort for Brady. Bring back Chick Sherry, says George Mellon. Scotty, I was born in the Gorbals. I escaped now to my mansion, Dirty Windies. Thanks for a world record, says Dan. Not at all. Know the Gorbals very well. A Delphi Street. What's your day job? Says Wadge. I do lots of day jobs, Wadge, of course. And uh, PMSL, says Ian Walker. Do you know, there's a man at the Parliament tonight who's been on a hunger strike for 11 days, Scotty, for the homeless. Has been good for him, I say. I hope it helps, but it's a shame he's got to put himself through that. Nobody should be homeless in this country. It is a complete and utter disgrace. Giuseppe Machete says, Scotty, never mind the wee swearer. Get the Skype back on and the big speakers up near wall so we can hear the conversation loud and clear. What's on your Christmas list, Scotty? Says Elliot Seth Faber. Lots and lots of wee things of value, not of any great monetary value, but of the right set of values a shout out to Sarai scotty scotty never clams up says steve lol big up manchester says wadge wadge i would always big up manchester i spent two and a half very very happy years living in manchester out in ellesmere park there so there you go well salford i better watch what i'm saying because very strong about that is ellesmere park salford or manchester it's uh, it's mountain isn't it Hi, give Andy M a shout, says Dean. What's happened to your tie? It's a monstrosity. It's not, it's the Jungle Book. Can you see it? We've got everybody on there. Marvellous. They're all there. All there. Baloo and Bagheera and Ka and Shere Khan, Mowgli. Who else have we got? Uh, you think about some people. Who else have we got? Bag I said Bagheera, did I? I said Baloo. I, the guy's not homeless, Scott. Sounds middle class. Um, there we go. Warburton's magic, says Lewis Marchant. Thank you, Lewis. A bit of an advert. Well done. Is a puppy your best friend? They don't lie, says Den O'Donnell. Well, uh, Clyde is ten, Den, so he's hardly a puppy. But he looks like a puppy. People think he's a pup. He's a wee lab, whereas Lord Reith was a big lab. Uh, right. Can you give a shout out to Maggie from Basford in Nottingham? Do you think we should bring back transportation for the indie campers? Says Ian Walker. 
Absolutely. I mean, anybody to do with India's good stuff. Going to the loo, I'll be back, says Wedge. Thanks, Wedge. Too much information, probably, but uh, you take care of yourself. God bless him there, I say. And uh, true on Skint, but uh, it's not me on the Parliament now. Have you ever visited Birmingham? And if so, do you think a bullring car park reminds you of the pin things you can put your hand up and your hand makes the shape? How marvellous, Andy. Yes, yes. Very blue, Peter. Angie Thompson. Sorry, Angie, I beg your pardon. Betty's Pie Shop in Parkhead. Have you tried it, Scotty? The best we shop in the East End. So there you are. And a uh, hundred Scots against a hundred English who'd win. It depends if it's an intelligence test. Uh, that's the thing. Thanks, Scotty. Lols, says Wedge. Uh, Kovu says woof woof to Glenn and three kisses. Number six, lol. Only kidding, Indy Campbells. What's your favourite single malt, Scotty? A single malt mark? Well, my goodness, I haven't had a dram for a year. I intentionally thought by the time I'd worked out all the units and the hours that I'd passed, I thought, not worth it, so gave it up. Um, but um, single malts, ooh, we have got me there. I like uh, I like my Isla malts, I have to say. And then if I want a nice green taste, my Speysides. So there you are. Yes, I could reel them all off, but I shan't do that on the programme. And uh, unless the whiskey companies phone me up and say, Scotty, could you give us a mention on Facebook Live? I was once up in Aberdeen and I made a big U-turn back down the road. I lived in Aberdeen for uh, over a year up at Grand Pied Television there. Lovely part of the world, beautiful city. Uh, cold, cold in the winter round. People said, what are you going up there for? It's dark for 360 days of the year. Uh, puts out a plea for money for the Indy Campus, Scotty. The skint now says Sandy Howden. Sandy, I don't think anybody to do with Indy will ever be skint. We've only had a few million pounds the fact that we own all these oil fields. And a guy on the radio let it slip. He said, Scotland will take their oil and push off and just leave the rest of the UK hanging. So there you go, Sandy. Scotty, you've got lovely eyes. I'm gay says Den. Uh, Den, you don't need to be gay or straight to admire somebody. I think that's part of the problem we've got as a society, and is that, uh, you, you know, you're supposed to only admire people who are of a different gender. A complete and utter nonsense. So there we are. Thank you. Uh, Andy Murray, three times sports personality of the year, says Dean. Uh, Mark Cruden, A1 Motors, tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10. 10 to 10. Yes, I saw that on Facebook Live. A1 Motors out at the halfway. Uh, no, don't. We won't be changed for costs, says Sandy. Uh, no, don't. We won't be. Oh, sorry. This is Dean. This is Dean talking. No, don't. We won't be charged for costs, Sandy. Aberdeen, where the men are men and the sheep are nervous, says George Mullen. Well, of course, a lot of farming goes on up there. My uncle in Canada loves Echo Fechen uh, whiskey. We have to send it over. He lives near Hamilton in Canada, near the Welland Canal, says Angie. Dinky do. If anybody's watching from Canada, come on and have a chat with us. Um, Scotty, uh, did you teach at a certain school? Yes. Uh, Dan says, Scotty, say Merry Christmas to my mammy in Donegal. Of course, mammy in Donegal. Lovely, lovely. Look after yourself now and have a wonderful Christmas, I say, nanny. Uh, there you are. Nanny and mammy. How far? The O'Donnells in Donegal. How marvellous. Oh, fantastic over there. I really could. I, I, you sometimes, have you ever wished you had several lives? I mean, I... You know, I'm upwards of 30 now, and I haven't even scratched the surface. And uh, need to do a lot more broadcasting, I say. Scotty, where can I send your Christmas card, says Charles McLaughlin. Email it to me, Charles. That would be lovely. You've got Scotty's email at the website. Uh, Mark says, Barveni is my favourite dram. God bless. How marvellous. I actually can tell whiskies just by sampling them. I remember being in the pub in Yorkshire and I said to the landlord, I said, what I'll do, I'll show you what all your whiskies are. He had several whiskies in his gantry. 
and they were all gathering round all these old farmers there in and one said, What does he think that one tastes like? He says, He's not tasting them, he's smelling them. <laughs> Evening, Scotty, says Esther. Hot dinky do, Esther. Scotty, you can't get powers with whiskey. Anyone in Scotland, the whiskey shop in Calendar hadn't heard of it. I remember being in a whiskey shop, there was an American in. And he said, is there a whiskey between this whiskey and that whiskey? And the man in the shop said, so there are 36 whiskeys between that whiskey and that whiskey. Would you like me to name them all for you? And the American said, no, I, I, I guess that's good. Uh, good evening, sir, says James Barding. He do, James, lovely to hear from you. Several lives, you're the next Doctor Who, says Andrew Thompson. I think I'd make a fabulous Doctor Who. Mm. Ah, right. Enough of that. Time to go, Scotty. See you later. Good night. TTF ends as Frank. See you, Frank. Sleep well, dear boy. Uh, bless you. Tell fat assed lasses your leggings don't work. Number nine, says Den O'Donnell. Any plans for a radio show, Scotty? Steve Burrows. I can't divulge, but yes. There's big, big conversations going on. And would you believe it's come from here, from uh, the fact that we pop up and everything. It's very funny because a chap that runs one of the big radio stations, he was hoping to catch me out. And he said, um, if you've got anything recent, he was thinking, a wee while since you were uh, mainstream radio. Have you had I said, well, what about the show from last night? Uh, Scotty, you should create a YouTube channel, says Shiraz. Shiraz? Newsflash, I have a YouTube channel. If you look at your Facebook, you will see the link to the YouTube channel there. Douglas William Bryce sends three wonderful emoticons. No, 40 millions paid as a retainer over four years already from the SPCB budget, says Dean Hannity. Someone should lock you in a TARDIS, says George Mullen. Thank you, George. How very kind of you. Black Bottle, love it, plus a wee Highland Park. Highland Park, of course, is an Orkney whiskey, isn't it? Marvellous. Uh, I like that. Um, so what have we got? Yes, all that sort of thing. Den O'Donnell, uh, don't cross the line. <laughs> so there we go. But uh, lovely to hear from you now. <coughs> Excuse me, I do beg your pardon. Have we got time for another share? What's the time on here? It's very difficult to see with all these lights. To be honest with you. Yes. Share, 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 share. Very important there. And we'll see if we can get... What have I got here? I'm just going to go on. I'm working away, folks. Just bear with me. Um, and we'll see if we can get some links up for you. Very, very important. Let me bring you just a tiny bit to that side can you still see me to do that and i'll just go down and see what we've got links wise on here now um we've got there is a link there guys so we'll share that one for you right okay i'll just click the love button i had some nutcase on one day and he says this guy likes his own stuff on facebook as if it was some sort of strange thing to do. It doesn't matter. I would only like my own stuff if there wasn't a love button. And somebody also asked, why do I use capital letters for every word? Because every word I say is important. And you must get that into your heads. So there we are. And uh, there's the Scotty McClue Twitter there. So we'll get that up for you. You'll get that on your Facebook, folks. And go on to Twitter and follow Scotty McClue. Every single one of you. Right, uh, who have we got here? What did you think of uh, Andy Whiteman uh, protesting against evictions, uh, says Dean. Yes, indeed. Uh, one of your wires are dodgy, Scotty. I don't think so, George. I think one of your wires are probably dodgy. I think that's been the problem. So there we are. Right, there's a couple of shares for you live on Facebook. I'll just get we lined up again. Um... What else have we got? What single malt do you have in your cuppa, Scotty? Says Double. <laughs> says, who is that? Douglas. Douglas William Bryce. Oh, that would be telling. Can you see the fox's brush? It's beautifully crafted. Can you see that, folks? And the marvellous, isn't it? Dunoon pottery. And Gaio pottery. Mm. Lovely part of the world, too. 
Scotty, how Stan owes his career to you, I heard him say on the Letterman show. Oh, and Donald Trump also, says Ian Walker. Thank you, Ian. Probably not true, but very kind of you to uh, give it all a mention. So there we are. And um, I can't mention all your pubs and stuff, guys. I couldn't actually do that. No, we don't have a dodgy one. Now, can I also say, this is uh, perhaps our last show before Christmas. In fact, almost definitely our last show before Christmas. Couple of questions for you about the Facebook Live show. This one. Um, do you want it to move in the new year from 9 till 10 rather than from 10 to 11? A lot of people have been asking, but I'm only asking you, you tell us what you think. And uh, Alan Jones, Scotty, marvellous, yes, wonderful, wonderful singer. Uh, so there you are. Fred Walton's watching. Dinky you do, Fred. Lovely to have you back with us. Uh, you're better live than me, but I do drink the malt while doing so. Do you remember the late Dave Allen used to have, uh, I don't know if he had an actual live refreshment, but he was tremendous. Still watch his stuff. And uh, who else have we got? Uh, 9 till 11, says Mark. <laughs> Dinky do, Mark. You're very kind. Dinky do t shirts. What does the nation think? Says James Burr. Bring back the bonnet. So there, I second the motion. So there we go, says Sandy. Uh, lovely cup. I have a Scott FM cup from back in the day, Mr. McClue, says Spike Nesmith. Now, let me tell you about this wonderful man. Spike Nesmith, he's in America, uh, and he's in um, he's in the Carolinas. I think it's North or South Carolina. Um, I think it might be South Carolina. And Spike Nesmith does a great Scotty McClue. He does a better Scotty McClue impression than I do. What about that? So maybe we'll get to hear him. Uh, all day, Scotty, says Dan. Dinky do to you, Scotty, says Fred Walton. Fantastic. Steve Burrows, 10 till 12 would be great. So have a two-hour show on a Sunday night, a two-hour Scotty McClure show. And we'll maybe start to get calls if we can get a profanity device wired up to keep the wee swearers off. Can you do a short broadcast on Christmas Eve? Give us a wee song or a wee tune in your accordion. Keep it at 10 p.m. because sometimes the Waynes are not ready or willing to go to bed at 9 p.m. Says Angie Tom. So that's fine, Angie. It's no bother. A live libation, Scotty, says Dean Halliday. I don't just have tea. We have everything here. Here we are. Light refreshment. <laughs> oh, that's marvellous. Um, right. Second aid. That was in my printing trade union days. Ah, you're a hot metal man, Sandy. That's gone as well as the Scottish Labour set up. Uh, West Virginia. Oh, West Virginia. Sorry, Spike. I beg your pardon. I have had you in the Carolinas. Were you never in the Carolinas then? Uh, do let us know about West Virginia. Take me home, country road. John Gillen, 10 to 1, he says. Angie, go to bed with Scotty, says George Mullen. Listen, millions and millions and millions of stunningly attractive women have said that they take Scotty McClue to bed. So there you go. They used to take the transistors off. Scotty, take off your hat, says Cheryl. No, why should I take off my hat? Oh, there you go. You've had a wee, a wee keek there. Uh, what a chanter, says Douglas William Bryce. Well, I'll tell you. Uh, get yourself on to that one, Glen Calla Castle. Scotty, what are your thoughts on Bob Dylan winning the Nobel Literature Prize as Elliot? I'll tell you, Elliot. If you want to hear a bit of literature, go on to YouTube and look up Scotty McClue, Deliver Us From Evil. Chapter 1 is on there, and uh, you can have a listen to that. Good bedtime story for you. Independence for Scotland, yeah, and this is Cameron feels definitely Cameron. It will happen because Westminster have been just ridiculous over the whole thing. Obviously, they don't want to lose Scotland because they lose a huge amount of money. Scotty, is that McClue tartened on your button? Uh, I know your clan war cry was dinky do the new. Absolutely. Geese a wave, Scotty, says Margaret Gibb. Hiya, Margaret. Dinky do. Oh, I've also taken part in the, um, the challenge, the mannequin challenge that's viral across the world at the moment. Lose the bonnet, 
says Lynn Kay. Certainly not, Lynn. I would never lose the bonnet. Uh, Spike says, I won't be happy until Scotty McClure appears on my own radio show. What we'll do, Spike, we'll get together and I'll uh, I'll Skype you and we'll chit-chat. Um, I used to love the... Um, the ISDN was the great thing. You could go on any radio station in the world with it, but I don't know if they all have it now, but I'm sure they've got Skype. I'd love to hear you sing My Love Is Like A Red Red Rose. Robert Bonds, um, make your stay short. Scotty, I'm knackered, says Jarvis Butler. Jarvis, your private life is your own. Waste monster, you mean, says Dean. <laughs> the mannequin challenge is dead, Scotty. No, 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 no. If you see Scotty McClure do it, I don't blink for over four minutes. That's not bad, is it? Scotty, I hear you had three rabbits tattooed in your head. From a distance, they look like hares. <laughs> uh, the SNP underspent by 440 million again, Scotty. The SNP um, probably are just looking after the pennies for us anyway, Sandy. They're doing awfully well. They're the best uh, setup we've ever had in Scotland. And I think the whole of the UK would quite like to secretly be governed by Holyrood. Uh, so there you are. Scotty, it's the winter solstice soon when the witches come out. Now, are witches good or bad? They're good. They're very, very good. They were herbalists and they threatened the church. So there you are. And uh, £40 billion, pounds, Sandy, we sent down to Westminster, so there's plenty of money to plug any so-called black holes. Can you not stay on longer than 11, Scotty, says Margaret Gibb? Tony Pennock, can I buy a thousand moisters from you? <laughs> Hi, Scotty, hope you're well tonight, says Yvonne boyd McLennan. Um, and, Scotty, do you think the BA strike will go ahead... I don't know about any of the strikes going ahead, but I have to say, I can very often see the union's point of view. It's a silly fight with the government, where what they're needing to do is look after people and actually cough. I mean, why would you vote a government in if they're not going to look after the people? They are the people's representatives. It's not a case of suiting themselves. Uh, Scotty, there is no UK. Evel took care of that. What about the SNP putting a minimum price on drink? Um, a minimum price on drink? Yeah, it's very, very interesting. It depends what difference it makes. The only thing is, if something's too cheap, then people are going to have more of it. And they don't think, and if young people are drinking, their livers are not properly formed. And as you'll probably all know, uh, liver disease or cirrhosis presents late. So very often the damage is actually done by the time um, you know, people can uh, can uh, give some sort of prognosis on it. Uh, why do lassies dance around their handbags? I think it's just a security thing, Then I'm sure people, uh, if you've got a man bag, you'd probably do the same. What I've always wondered is, why do the girls all go to the loo at the one time? I'm going to the toilet, anybody else coming? Uh, the last witch to be born was in Glasgow, hence Hag's Castle, says Ian Walker. Good one, Ian. We love it. Information, education, and entertainment. You cannot beat it. You will never beat that. And our public service broadcasters need to keep that in mind. Have you watched Trollerman? Love the prawns, says Mark. Oh, fantastic stuff. I remember uh, a chap telling me that uh, he said to his brother, who's a prawn fisherman, can I get a handful of prawns? And he went, how big's your hand? So there we go. Uh, fantastic. Won't work, people will drink home brew. I can remember the home brew kits. I don't know if you still get them, um, but they were quite fun. But bottles could just blow up and things like that if there's too much sugar in them. Uh, Scotty, do you think fat lassies should be banned from the dancing? Says Douglas William Bryce. Well, there you go. It's an interesting one, isn't it? But, uh, you know, if, if you said, I mean, would it be fattest? To actually say to them, sorry, love, you can't come in. You're just too fat or your bottom's too far down. Your your bum has dropped. Uh, is it true about the witch bun in Glasgow? Says George Wallen. Yes, I wouldn't be surprised. Inverkip was another great one for the old witches. 
And uh, I used to stay at a place called Bon Cross down in Sheffield. And I was just wondering how that got its name. Scotty, show me the moon, says Jarvis Butler. The moon is the moon is waning now, of course. We've had full moon. The moon is very, very powerful. It makes me laugh when people say, oh, that's just a lot of nonsense. If the moon can have an effect on tides, then it can have an effect on a man's brain. There you are. And look at the cow. The cow jumped over it, I see. Hello, Scotty, says Ian McEwan. Now, what time do we have? Ah, can we have some more share, 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 share? And can you share all Scotty McClue's social media? Get onto Twitter and follow me at Scotty McClue, all one word. Okay, capital S and a capital M, small c, capital C. Can you also get on to Google Plus? Those of you who have Google Plus accounts, can you get on to the several Facebook pages? You've got Dinky Doo, you've got scotty mcluecom you've got the World's Top Talk Show, you've got two Scotty McClue pages, a public page that you can click like, and this page that you're watching right now. Scotty, did you hear about the pie being sent into space from Wigan? last week my goodness me a wigan pie in space scotty stranraer people have three pedal bikes very interesting was the dress gold and white or blue and black says elliot if you're looking for another witch to burn give me an hour she'll be in from a night out that's terrible 10 to 12 scotty if you can says cameron filson Scotty, can you direct me there, says Jarvis. Scotty, how old are you? I have to confess I'm upwards of 30 now, but I am of no discernible age. I've just been on the earth for some time. Ian Garty, hello. What a day working again. Just sat down late to watch you. Ian, was that you with the gluggle gluggle cup with the wine last week? Uh, do let me know. Um, what a marvellous man, and pass on my fondest regards to your dear father, um, because I was thinking just what a, what an amazing setup uh, he's got there, and what wonderful things he does. Um, you know, some of these cars could do with a right good blowout, I have to say. Uh, McKeag's Folly in Oban has one pane of glass in it. You can only see it when it's raining. Uh, Pin McPutty tell me, I don't think McKeag's Folly does have it who was mckeague anyway there's your homework for you guys for this week who was mckeague of mckeague's tower uh, mckeague's folly in oban and also do you know about oban hydro mm. scotty tell the mayor to shut it opens tomorrow at seven o'clock <laughs> yes it was says ian well done ian great chap and uh, very very glad you enjoyed that was a great wee trick you'd give us there uh, Santa only comes once a year. That's down the chimney. I've never understood Santa. You know, we've got 16 windows and four doors in the house. He comes down the chimney. Interesting. And if, if he has a mince pie and a sherry in every house, is it any wonder you only see him once a year? Think about that. And he's elves, his elves. And of course, for those of you who are big on Christianity, we have all comers here. We have all the world's great religions, Judaism, Islam, Hinduism, Sikhism. Uh, you know, you've got the lot Christianity. Uh, you've got the lots here. And we are all welcome. But remember, Christmas is about the shepherds abiding in the fields, keeping watch over their flocks by night. Uh, so there you are, and the angel of the Lord coming down. Scotty, what do you know lots about, says Dave Wilkinson. Everything, Dave. Ask me anything. Uh, Santa's sack is full. Uh, best thing in Airdrie is the train out to Glasgow. Uh, do you know which owl breed is the most common, perchance? Um, I would have thought the tawny. Uh, I would have thought. Um, but, of course, they're trying to get the barn owls. The Red Owls are fantastic. And I remember talking to Toad Les, a lovely guy that used to ring in to the show in uh, Magic Radio in Yorkshire. And I said, saw an owl today, Les. He went, I or low? I said, low. He said, I, you frightened him. So, oh, great stuff. And is it the Teat Owl? Oh, very, very good. 
What do you get if you cross a skunk with a mute owl? You get an animal that smells terrible but couldn't give a hoot. Right, so there you are. Hi, Scotty. I'm back, says Wadge. Dinky you do, Wadge. Well done. Is that you just back from the loo? Might be well worth just checking that out with the GP. Little donkey, little donkey down the dusty road. Little donkey carry me safely on her way. Little donkey carry Mary safely on her way. Uh, what's your favourite pub in the town, Scotty, says Douglas William Bryce. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Norman McKeag, says uh, Elliot Faber. No, Elliot, it wasn't Norman McKeag, the poet. It was uh, it was another McKeag, the Oban man. So there you are. But check that out. The old Wolseley my dad had had one of them. It was a piece of class, not like the trash you get now, says George. The Wolseleys were great. And they had the picnic tables and all the rest of it. We can talk motors. Uh, uh, all night. A skunk, says Jarvis Butler. Yes, that's right, Jarvis the skunk. Um, I bought a litre bottle of Tipex. <laughs> it was a big mistake. Do you think Velcro's a ripoff? Mm, I'm just thinking. Right, what time do we have now? Because I think it's time for another share. Oh, it's a deal to see. Yes, share, 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 share. Uh, Glasgow's parks are amazing, says Dan O'Donnell. They are indeed. In fact, I think Rickon Glen has just won one of the top awards. Rickon Glen Park on the south side of Glasgow has won one of the top awards in the country. And Glasgow, of course, has more parkland than any city. I think, if I remember right, a fifth, a fifth, a fifth of the city. Um, say hi to my mum, Sida, says Wedge. Hi, Sida. And D Dinky do from Scotty McClue. Uh, share the video, folks. Start sharing. Let's get share, share, sharing. Share, says Ian Gotti. Bless you, Ian. That is marvellous. And uh, lots of barn owls around Manchester, says Fred Walton. I'll take your word for it, Fred, because I trust your judgment. The dear green place, says Alec Robertson. Yes, Alex, it is the dear green place. The bell that never rang and the fish that never swam. Let's have another hour, Scotty, says Margaret Gibb. Dinky do, Margaret. Well, who knows? There may be big, big radio news because this program is attracting a lot of attention in the right places, dare I say. So there we go. But if you own radio stations, if you own television stations, if you own newspapers, if you own satellite stations, if you own mobile phone platforms, do get in touch or get one of your principal officers to speak to me because we could uh, turn that into some serious, serious business. I'll tell you, Scotty McClure has worked for some big radio stations and the ones that got sold, sold for very, very big money. Uh, once they've got me moved out the road, mind you. <laughs> Uh, so there we go. Um, what else have we got? Best dinner, a fish supper at Ardrossan. Me and four siblings, Mammy and Daddy, we shared one. I miss Dad, says Den. Yes, we all do. We miss our parents. We can't have them forever. Um, and there's no words um, to express our sadness when they go, except that I will say to you, they're never far away from you, and they're only in the next room. I remember at my father's funeral, a cousin brought me my uncle's OBE, and I thought, I must show this to Dad. He'll love it. And I thought, no, that's the reason I've actually got it. So there we go. Any chance of a midweek show, says Douglas William Bryce. Tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10, says Wedge. Excellent, Wedge. <coughs> Excuse me, that's nothing to do with you guys. I had a chest cold last week. Mm. No. Scotty, is the life after death or is the death after life? I'm confused. No, I think there is always a spiritual life. All that experience should never, ever go to waste. And we never know who anybody really is round about you. Perhaps your dog could be your dad. Your cat could be your mum, whatever. Local radio stations of the 70s and 80s were a great sad loss, says Fred Welton. Of course they were, Fred. But now it's money, 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 and people have got really a jukebox. That's what you've got. Hello, Scotty McClue, says Richard Bonnet. Dinky do to you, Richard. I stole a rabbit, and I had to make a run for it, says John Gittens. 
Do you know James Stanich, says Wedge? Yes, of course I do. I know James. Wonderful man. Great radio presenter. Wonderful broadcaster. Kept Manchester entertained for many, many years. Great show, Scotty. You're a legend, says Steve Burrows. John Robertson says hi. And I hope you have a lovely Christmas, says Jarvis Butler. Scotty, thanks for my dad comment. It means a lot, says Den. On the way out, says George. Yes, I am. A wee Vic rub in the chest, Scotty. Yes, well done. Spot on with the jukebox, Scotty. That's what it is. That's what a lot of stations are. And the poor soul that's called a controller just spends the day putting songs into a computer. So, and when I ring them up and I say, do you know what, pop on a phone in and get some audience. Oh, I'm, 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 oh, I don't know. I don't know, Scotty. I haven't really thought about a speech programme and Mm, just really play a few songs, you know. So they are all that kind of nonsense. Uh, I applied for a job making sandwiches, but the role had been filled. <laughs> now see what you've done. Right, it's time for me to go. Have a fabulous Christmas, folks. Enjoy it, regardless of your background, your age, your creed, your religion, your colour anything at all i love 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 you all you are beautiful people stop the wars right away that's just an announcement for all the half wits stop the wars right away because uh, you're spoiling the world and the world needs to be a beautiful place it is a beautiful place it's filled with beautiful people i've only met one bad person in my life and he knows who he is so there you go. But the world is full of beautiful people. This is a wonderful time to think about it. Have a wonderful happy Christmas. Have a merry Christmas. Say hi to absent friends. Say cheers to absent friends, I say. And uh, who knows, I might pop up and surprise you with Scotty McClue's Christmas message. So keep your eyes out on Facebook Live. Spend the rest of the week sharing this program because we are building something very big and very, very special. To all of you, without exception, lots of love. God bless you. Your God or the God that you worship. And I send you so much love, so much fondness, and say to all of you, Dinky Doo! Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to sing you the cheery old song. Goodbye, everybody, goodbye. Take care, everybody, as you go. Goodbye, everybody, of Wheatorzain, au revoir and a cheerio, ta loves dinky-doo.